Now, when we were making pounds of strain cheese, Ben said that the fresh milk can make it from the udder to the pasteurizing tank in two minutes. That would mean that the cows are on the other side of the wall, and they are. And so is JJ to give me a tour of the parlor. Is this where they're being milked? The, yep, this is where the magic happens. So we'll milk the cows right here. Okay. The milk will go through the pipeline and right over to his pasteurizer. So we're mere feet away from the cheese room. Because the cheese room is right on the other side yes, of that wall. So, I mean, this is this is as close from cow to countertop as you can as get. As you can get. Do people on your tours, is, does it just absolutely blow their mind? This is one of the coolest parts for everybody because they get to sit up above. We have a viewing area. Okay. So you can sit up above and they get to see all the cows going around. They're chewing their cud. They're nice and relaxed. They're calm. It's just a great deal. The view from above gives guests a true look at the calm and happy cows in the rotary parlor. And the view from inside the circle is an impressive look at what it takes to milk 4,000 cows a day. So now you said that 72 cows can fit on this, on this parlor at one time. Yep. So 72 cows fit on this parlor at one time as it goes around. And like I said, they ride on it for eight minutes. They get off, they go walk back to their pen. They get a nice, nutritious meal, they get something to drink, and they get to go lay down in their fluffy stalls. I mean, they just look so calm right now. Very happy, very cool, calm and collected. Like, they know the drill. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're very calm, very happy. Yeah. One of the neat things about this is when my grandpa started milking cows, we milked everything in a tie stall barn where you had to bend down and put on a unit and everything yeah. else. And then we moved up to a different type of parlor, and now we're at a rotary parlor like this where it's a lot nicer for our cows. They go around, they get to sit, get a nutritious meal, go lay down. For our people, they get to sit there. They're very active and they get to put the units on, but they're not bending and slouching and everything else. Yeah. So aesthetically wise, it's better for their back, for their feet, for their legs. So overall, it's better for the animal and better for the people. Because it does seem like everything is designed to keep the cow as calm as possible. It is. We do our best to try to keep our parlor as quiet as we can, keep it nice and comfortable for them. And that comfort creates a modern, efficient, and safe operation. Each cow produces two to three gallons of milk during the ride. 4,000 cows are milked three times a day. That's 535 cows an hour, producing about 750,000 chugs of milk a day. And three times a day, the parlor is shut down for cleaning and inspection. So can you explain to me what all is going on underneath the cow? So each one of these stalls have individual units. So all the cows have a little white tag in their ear called an RFID. So the black screen right there reads the cow. It tells us which cow every single one is, oh, wow. what stall she's in. And then if you look over here, they got the meters and it'll tell you how much milk each cow gave, how long she was milking. And then if she gave more or less milk than the time before. Oh. And then all our, these are called pulsators. All these are being graphed right now to make sure this is all working properly. Oh my goodness. And so all of that technology goes into an eight minute carousel ride. Yep. And that's happening three times a day. Yep. You guys are taking more stats than a Packers game. <laughs> we try to track everything we can. And so, and so if, you, if you see that a cow is maybe producing less, will you go like check her out, maybe change up her nutrition? Yep, the guys will go walk the barns every couple hours throughout the day, and they'll go make sure that if there's something wrong with her, because maybe she has sore feet and she has to get looked at by her hook trimmer. Maybe, maybe she's just tired, maybe she's not feeling well, so we'll give her a full examination, check her out, and then decide what we got to do from there. Oh, wow, and you're doing that for every single, for over 4,000 cows. Yep. Three times a day. Yep. That, I mean, that to me is just, that is insane. I mean, no one is checking up on me that often. <laughs> they got 24-7 carrier at Pickles Ponderosa. That is incredible.